These are the airplane dimensions for the Boeing 767-300. Length, height, and wingspan. These are the weight ranges. The maximum zero fuel weight, the maximum taxi weight, maximum takeoff weight, and the maximum landing weight. The 767 300 is powered by engines from General Electric. The engines have a high bypass ratio and a full authority digital engine control. The engines supply 62,100 pounds of takeoff thrust. Each engine has a 90 kVA generator. The 767-300 can fly medium to long range flights. Versions of the 767-300 can fly 6,200 nautical miles with a full passenger load. If a flight starts in London, the airplane can fly to destinations in the circles on the left. If the flight starts in New York, the airplane can fly to destinations in the circles on the right. The maximum altitude is 43,100 feet. And the maximum operating speed is 0.86 Mach. Entry and service doors are in the forward, mid, and aft areas of the passenger compartment. An emergency escape door is provided aft of each wing and is used for egress only. There are three cargo doors. Forward, aft, and bulk. An APU in the tail supplies electrical power on the ground and in flight at all altitudes. The APU also supplies bleed air on the ground and up to a minimum of approximately 17,000 feet, but may be available at higher altitudes depending upon operating conditions and airplane speed. Special coatings on the windshields repel rain. Windshield wipers improve visibility during taxi, approach, and landing. The 767-300 flight controls, operated by the hydraulic systems, control pitch, roll, and yaw. The trailing edge flaps and leading edge slats normally use the hydraulic systems to operate. The fuel system has three tanks, a center tank, and two main wing tanks. Total fuel capacity is more than 72,000 kilograms. The 767-300 has three landing gear with four wheels on each main gear and two wheels on the nose gear. Each main gear wheel has a multiple disc brake. Anti-skid protection is provided to each brake. The nose wheels can be steered with the nose wheel steering tiller or with the rudder pedals. The passenger compartment can be configured to meet the individual needs of airlines. 218 passengers can be accommodated in a three-class configuration.
Lavatories are located throughout the cabin. They can be rearranged within these areas known as flex zones to suit changing route requirements. Similarly, the galleys are located here and can also be rearranged within these flex zones. Emergency equipment is located throughout the cabin. Emergency slides are installed at each door. As with other jet transports, the flight deck has the overhead panels, the glare shield, forward panels, forward aisle stand, control stand, and the aft aisle stand. CRTs display the basic flight instruments and navigation data. The Attitude Director Indicator, or ADI, combines the basic flight instruments and enunciations into one display. The Horizontal Situation Indicator, or HSI, displays route and navigation information. The center displays show engine indication, systems information, and crew alerting. The standby flight instruments are electromechanical and LCD indicators. The radio communication system consists of the usual VHF and HF systems. The VHF and HF systems provide the option to send and receive data link messages. The flight data recorder automatically turns on when either engine is operating or the airplane is in flight. It records data for the most recent 25 hours of operation.